let's say we are given this rational function f of x equals 7 over x plus 3. I have to find the range of this function. Remember, you have a rational function like this. We are numerator, we don't have a variable or an unknown in the numerator. For instance, in this question, I have something like x here. We just have only 7, no variable attached to it. So the range of this function will be y will not be equal to 0. So the, the, the range of this function rather will be all real numbers from negative infinity to plus infinity except 0. So to represent it in interval notation, this is how you do it. All real numbers from negative infinity to 0, but not including 0 in your values from 0 to positive infinity, but not including 0. So that will be the range of this function. So let's write this now so another problem. Okay, let's say we have, we are giving f of x equals x minus 2 over 3 minus x. I have to find the range of this function. Okay, so remember that f of x is equal to y. So we have y equals x minus 2 over 3 minus x. Okay, when you have this kind of problem, where you have a variable and the numerator, like here, I'll have x as a variable in the numerator. So, firstly, we have to express x in terms of y, so we cross multiply. So, when you do it, you are going to have y multiply 3 minus x, okay, equals x minus 2. So, when you simplify, you're going to have 3y minus xy equals x minus 2. So, we want to make x the solid formula. So, what we want to do is that this 2 we we'll come to the left hand side of the equation and this minus xy will go to the right hand side of the equation. So when they're gonna have three y minus two cos over we change to plus two then equals x minus xy cos over we change to plus xy. So when you factorize what we have here we have three y plus two plus x in brackets okay one 1 plus y. So when you multiply 1 plus y with x, you get back to this. Okay, so at this juncture, you divide both sides by 1 plus y. Okay, 1 plus y. Okay, so the new function of x equals 3y plus 2 over 1 plus y. And remember that for this kind of national function, y not be equal to 0 so we have 1 plus y now equals 0 okay so you make y the solid formula that means y not be equal to negative 1 y across the over change to negative 1 right so that means the range of this function will be all the numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity but not including negative one so this is how you present this in interval notation you're going to be either write it like this the range of the function all the numbers not including negative one or you write it like this all the numbers from negative infinity to negative one but not including negative one in your values from negative one to negative infinity but not including negative one. So that would be the range of this function. Why the domain of this function will be remember three minus x nine equals zero that means minus x nine equals negative three so we have minus one so x and nine and nine equal three so why the domain of this function will be all numbers from negative infinity to plus infinity except three. The range of this function will be all numbers from negative infinity to plus infinity except negative one. So that's it for this problem.